real hair is growing so much at the moment. Lauren and I were just talking about it on WhatsApp. I'm so happy. It means that I think by the end of this, I will have grown out all of my like broken hair. And if we lob it, I just have a thick head of healthy, almost all natural colored hair. And I'm really excited. I might go back to being a brunette again for a bit. Who knows? Though Lauren has also just reminded me that I'm due to have my extensions taken out on Friday, which means that basically I'm due to take them out myself within the next couple of weeks. So yeah, my appointment would have been Friday, sad times. So welcome back to a new vlog. Today it is Tuesday. Kind of losing track of the days. It's today, tomorrow, yesterday, other day. I feel like I've just uh, stolen Amelia's TikTok that she did, but it really made me laugh. But today I'm really excited because I'm gonna show you a few bits I've picked up from ASOS. Some of you will already know if you follow me on Instagram that I am an ASOS brand ambassador, which is literally my dream come true. If you've been watching me for more than a year, you will know that I love ASOS. I love them so much and I'm so excited to be a brand ambassador for them. So I do content every month on my Instagram. This isn't a spawn, but I had my delivery arrive for that work. And I thought I'd just take you through it on here as well because you guys don't normally get to see that and if you don't follow me on instagram then you won't see everything like this is part of last month this dress and i love it this has been an absolute saving grace whilst being indoors because it looks pretty but the material isn't too like smart and there was so much other stuff in that order which you guys won't have seen if you didn't follow me on instagram so i thought this month i would also unbox on here with you guys and show you what i got just in case you're interested so life updates basically i don't really have any at the moment other than my hair is growing and i have an asos order and i baked cookies last night that's pretty much all that's changed since you last watched the vlog but had the genius idea oh, please. had the genius idea to make a batch of cookie dough and roll it into balls and then freeze it because you know when you make cookies and you make loads and then you end up eating all of the cookies and it's so unnecessary because you only really wanted like maybe one and then you end up eating two or three or four and then before you know it you're like I've just eaten a whole batch of cookies. And if you do that repeatedly during your isolation, like I'm gonna come out of this looking the size of a house. So I decided I wanted to bake cookies and I wanted a cookie, but I didn't want all the cookies. So I froze them. So I have little packets of cookie dough in my freezer. I'll pop the recipe. It's a very rough recipe. I bake by just throwing things into a bowl and mixing it all together and I don't really, I kind of taste test it rather than going by exact measurements. So if you're a Virgo, do not follow this recipe because you'll hate me. If you're an air sign, you're gonna love this recipe because it's very non-precise. But anyway, so I made a batch of cookies last night, froze them, very, very happy about that. So I might bake some this evening. I just literally whack them in the oven and it helps them retain that perfect like Ben's cookies shape, which I'm so excited about. But yeah, I'll pop the recipe in the info box for you guys. And I know what you're thinking, God, she must be bored she's baking and you would be correct. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Another life update before I get on with the clothes is, you won't have seen this if you didn't watch my last video because I'm aware it was fitness and it's not everyone's cup of tea. But, oh, by the way, I have Lydia on in the background. Wait for it. The door opens. The door opens people the door opens so <laughs> if you didn't see the last vlog then you won't know but we drilled actually i don't know if i told this story in full in the last vlog but we drilled through the lock with permission because this actually needs to open like we i don't think you can have like a balcony staying like shut so a drill was used <laughs> to get through the door this door is now broken so we have really strong winds the other night and both this door and then consequently the bedroom window both blew open because this one is broken like the wind can now like blow it open it was strong wind to be able to do that because like that is not a light door and it's not easy to open up normally but the wind like blew it full on open and i obviously cacked my pants because i was asleep and my bedroom window is just like flung open and this door's like flung open and i was like <gasps> scared the crap out of Ryan because Ryan hates it when I do that if like something scares me in my sleep I do like and it scares him he's like it's not the window that scares me it's you <laughs> but that is not the main life update although that is a big life update and lots of people were messaging me on Instagram because I don't think they'd seen the vlog but they were like hang on how how and I was like a drill a drill was used people in addition to that we now have furniture here how cute is that this is now my new favorite area of my home it's so cute. I just love sitting out here. It's also lovely because these trees here are now like growing all of their leaves for the summer. And we're two weeks away from feeling like we live in a tree house. And 
I was originally very sad because I didn't think I'd get to see this again this summer. I was meant to be gone. By the way, if you can hear noises because Ryan's showering. I was meant to be gone by now. So yeah, it makes me so happy. It feels like I live in a tree house. It means I can't be nosy though and watch people because I can't see anything, which is a bit sad. But it's going to be a lovely vibe on the balcony. And we were very fortunate that the door was fixed right when it got really, really hot and sunny. So it, I really made the most of those few days where we had like 20 degree heat. It was beautiful. And I just, my mood has improved so much since because I was starting to feel very, I'm claustrophobic because it is like, I love having windows open even in winter. I like to be able to hear the outdoors. Like I'm one of those people that drives around with a car window open in the winter. I don't like being outdoors. No, no, I don't really like it. I like to feel like I'm outdoors, but indoors. And that balcony is like perfect for that because it's got like a glass bit all the way around. So even the wind doesn't really get you too much. So yeah, I'm very happy. My mood has just changed so much since that got fixed. So I'm just feeling very happy and very grateful. I feel like that would probably come across more in this video if I wasn't incredibly tired. Just not sleeping very well at the moment. But anyway, got some new bits from ASOS. I actually have a couple more bits that I think I'm still waiting on, but I thought I'd show you these now. And you'll see the other bits at a later date. Basically, there's another order that's just got like a couple of dresses in it. Cause it's mine and Ryan's anniversary soon. And I was looking for a dress to wear because even though we're not going out, doesn't mean that I'm not gonna look cute for it. But anyway. I have things, lots of comfy things, and then a couple of really nice dresses that I think will also be nice and comfy. Actually, this one, this one feels like it could be comfy, but more of a like occasion type thing. But these two are like the same kind of material as this one, and a very relaxed material, very relaxed fit. So I feel like they'll be super comfy for me around the house. I know not everyone's buying right now, but I just thought I'd show you these anyway, just as like a little bit of a like normal YouTube viewing. roll with this i'm hoping you can see the dress because it's just got really bright in here so first up we have this little white dobby print ploplin i never know how to what to call it or how to say the actual name of this material but it's that little kind of like textured dotty material i just really love basically it's that material on the top and then also on the skirt as well but there's quite a few layers to the skirt there's like a sheer under layer then there's a second layer which is the like dobby print and then there's another one over the top as well and it's got an elasticated waist which is actually like quite loose like i feel like there's definitely room for food in here which is great this is going to be a great like summer barbecue dress you can also put it down quite a lot it does ride up a little bit yeah it's cute i really like it the one thing i would say is that it needs a bra underneath i've opted for a white one i know you can wear nude under white things and it generally is a little bit more inconspicuous however i've gone for white because i'm hoping it looks like it's part of the dress and that's something i would kind of advise with this type of thing is like wear a very tight fitting white vest top or something like that underneath just to make it look like it's it belongs with the dress rather than you're just like wearing nude underwear and praying no one can see because this is see-through and everyone will be able to see regardless so you might as well make it look like it's part of the dress in my opinion put it with my chloe sandals also <laughs> these liberata body blurred my legs so if they just look like inconspicuously like they're not part of my body that is why they were looking a little bit worse for wear so i was like do you know what i need body foundation this is it's cause for one of those days. I need to do like some serious beauty maintenance, but it's not this vlog. That is not this vlog. But anyway, I really like this dress. I think I got it in a 10. I'll pop all my sizes and everything like that in the info box for you guys, just for your reference. And I've had a lot of people ask me recently and I really thought I drummed it in over the past like six years, but I'm five foot two. So just in case anyone is wondering my height, there you go. Like I'm shocked when people ask me. I used to get told off in the comments for talking about how small I was. So maybe I need to start doing that again because you guys have started asking. So you can also untie this bit and have it loose, but I really like it done up, which is something that I wouldn't normally say. Normally I like a little bit of like exposed chest, but I think because we've got like the leg going on and it is quite short really, I think, yeah, this kind of smartens it up and just, I don't know, balances it out really nicely. So yeah, love it. Dress number two is so, cute i love this color i'm really loving adding color into my wardrobe at the moment because i just feel like it really lifts my mood i'm not normally a color girl i know this is a bit more of a like muted color it's not super bright and that's the way you guys will know i like my colors like you will know from my bag collection i love the pastel bags i've definitely fallen more out of love with them lately but this one for some reason over the past couple of weeks it's just really been grabbing my attention so i dug this back out 
and I'm now heavily reconsidering selling it. Basically I have a wardrobe uh, that I keep my bags in I'm not looking to keep hold of forever and if I don't dig things out of it then they have to be sold and apparently this one's not being sold because I dug it out. It's little tan sister though has not been dug out yet so we shall see. That one might go on sale. I just think they work perfectly together so I've got a little Chloe accessories look kit So I've gone for my sandals and the bag. I think this just goes perfectly with this dress. It's so cute so cute yeah so i love the fact that this is like a really lovely blue but it's a bit more muted and just a bit, bit more subtle but it works really really nicely with my skin tone and i think with the majority of skin tones as well and also with so many different hair colors you know sometimes there's a hair color that you're like yeah that doesn't work this dress i feel like would look great on everybody it does need a little bit of a steam but i think it's a winner i also think it would look really cute if you rolled the sleeves up as well but um yeah just a really nice easy summer dress really great for like wearing around the house in your garden and also out the house when we're eventually allowed out this is so cute my first outing out when we're finally allowed out with the girls when we finally get to go out because we meant to go out for easter weekend so i'm pretty sure that's gonna be happening later in the year my first outing out i'll be wearing this this is so cute i think it'll look really sweet with a pair of nude heels just think really like minimal you don't need anything too fancy with this because this is there's a lot going on but it's so cute i really love the way the shorts fit they like flare out perfectly it's really hip skimming this is a little bit i'm gonna say this is a bit big around here for a 10 my boobs normally fit in a 10 perfectly but apparently i'm not filling this <laughs> properly there's a lot of gaping going on but everything else fits beautifully i would be interested to try the size down maybe i need that i'd just be worried about the arms because they fit perfectly as it is i just i think they're so cute so yeah little new bag new shoes cute dress it's got all of these beautiful like lilacs and blues in it it's really really sweet and now we are moving on to some definitely more casual but no less fantastic pieces which are perfect for around the house and this first one makes me want to cry with happiness because it is the softest thing i have ever owned in my life oh my god i feel like a teddy bear first thoughts when i saw this on the website were nah that'll look like a sack with me absolutely not no we're not even going there don't even think about it Suze. don't even think about it and then i was like do you know what i don't care because it just looks so soft i just really i want to see what it's like and <laughs> I can confirm it is beautiful oh my god it is the softest material i feel like you can see oh my god it's so soft and it actually doesn't look anywhere near as bad as i thought it would it really like i don't know there's something about the way that it falls it creates these lines which kind of give you it's almost like a slightly slimming effect i was not expecting this the color is beautiful it's my perfect color palette as you can see it blends perfectly with my surroundings i like to be a uh, chameleon and just blend in with my house yeah it's, oh my god it's so soft and it's so comfy i just can't there's another version of this that i have that i'll show you next and i think it's a little bit more of a like fitted one but oh my god i just i love this this is going to be what i wear just like every evening now oh my god oh my god look i'm a teddy bear and it's cozy it's so cozy feel me ryan's just sitting Ooh, here with so my sad. clothes that i've been changing in and out Guarding the clothes. Guarding the clothes. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, so this is the second fluffy dress. They're both so soft. They're both the exact same material. I don't love this one as much. Ryan prefers this one, so we want to know which one is your favourite. I personally think the other one for me, but I'm really interested to see what everyone else thinks. This one's definitely, obviously, more fitted. But same colour, same material. I prefer the other one. I just think... This one's a little bit tighter obviously on the legs but if you want to look super cozy but you want something that you could actually wear to something this one is probably one that you could get away with more the other one is definitely like in-house only wear i don't know i feel like this one could do with like a belt around the middle if i was like gonna wear it places just to like visually pull you in around here because you can see the waist even if it's like a little chain belt that's really loose if you create a v-shape here it kind of gives you a bit more of a like cinched in look it draws your eye to like this line here so it kind of emphasizes an hourglass figure or creates one that's the only thing that i think 
this could do with yeah interested to see what you guys think i reckon if i put a proper like i'm not wearing a bra right now i never wear bras when i try things on just fun fact in case anyone was ever wondering i very rarely wear them unless like the outfit needs it like the first dress in this i wonder if that would help with the shaping of this a little bit because i just feel like this area is a little bit lost i don't know but yeah i'm really excited to hear your thoughts and for anyone wondering the slippers are also from asos basically my whole life is sponsored by asos Next up we have a body because it wouldn't be a Susie Hall without a white body at the moment. I'm still kind of searching for the perfect one. I really love my ASOS one but it is quite see-through so I'm searching for one that's kind of not so see-through. This one is cute because it has like this bat wing sleeve and a little bit of like ruching around the shoulder and it's really sweet. The sleeves are quite loose but kind of tapering towards the end. It's got quite a thick elastic band around here which some might like some might not. It is a little bit see-through sadly but i paired it with these trackies which are like quilted nude trackies so cute hopefully they'll still be in stock when this video goes live i think it makes a really cute at home outfit i've paired it with my asos slippers as usual these trackies are a really lovely fit i've only had to roll them up once which is amazing because normally i have to roll things up like three times and i love the color of them and they're quite flattering around the bum they are a little bit see-through though as you can see because you can see the body through them but the bum is a lot more flattering than my zara nude trackies and i think they're out of stock so if you wanted something similar these are lovely they're just obviously quilted as opposed to like a soft brushed cotton i want to say that kind of material so it's like very very soft these are super soft but they are quilted instead so a very different texture if you're looking for a nude set of tracky bottoms right here they're cute and they have pockets as well like really big pockets which i quite like you know carrying all of my essentials around the house Finally we have this top which I don't think is going to make the cut, I don't love it and I feel like for me to make it look how I would like it to look it would require some boob tape I reckon. So this one's probably not going to make the cut into my edit but I thought I'd show you anyway just so you can see that some things don't make it. There's a bralette as well which I ordered and that's probably not going to make the edit as well because I just don't feel like they're the best fit. I feel like if you didn't have so much boob this would maybe look a bit better i don't know it could just be the shape of mine but anyway it's really really cute like a really nice zara-esque type bra so i'll still link to it if any of you like the look of it but yeah this one's not my fave but the trackies however these are from asos these come in a set with a crop top a black crop top and i love them so i would highly highly recommend those but i'd show you some other bits i am loving at the moment which i bought quite a fair while ago so i hope they're still in stock but i got this three-piece set from asos just like a long cardigan a little kind of cropped top and then these kind of long trousers they're all a very light like ribbed material just so so lovely so comfy very like skims-esque without the fluffiness so if that's something you don't like or you didn't want to pay the price tag for skims then i would definitely look into this the last thing i saw they did this in a dark brown in regular sizing i believe they might have done it in tall and they definitely had this color in petite i bought this in normal and it is a little bit you can see on my feet that they're a little bit long yeah if you're interested i would go now go fast because i feel like if they're not already sold out we'll sell out very very quickly i think i'm also going to photograph this one for my instagram as well you will have seen this a lot if you've watched my videos kind of for maybe only like four months i love this set i wear it all the time this has been like an absolute staple for me whilst just being at home a lot and it was a staple for me for before to be fair even if i went on like travel trips i would take this with me i love it it's just like a two piece set a lot of bloggers have this and i really enjoy seeing how everyone wears it because some people wear it untucked i really like to wear mine tucked in but i see a lot of people with theirs like untucked and it looks really cool so there are a couple of different ways to wear it and i always try and wear mine with my asos slippers and if not i kind of throw my air max 97s on with it i believe i wore this in the morning on christmas day as well and chucked my air max on with it and i think i had it for the evening as well i basically just brought it with me everywhere i just love it i really 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 love it it's a little bit see-through so i've just kept that little crop top from the previous set on underneath works a treat but i always wear it around the house with no bra because it's just so comfy i am not getting too close up with this set because it's actually like so well loved now and i feel like you'll probably see like some dinner stains on it from last night so yeah but i will link this below if you are in the market for like the world's comfiest set to wear at home this is my like number one recommendation and i think it's back in stock now so i will link that in the info box for you guys but yeah that's it for my like fashion bits but i actually picked up some beauty bits as well that i thought i'd show you just in case you guys are interested so i picked up some shower gel and 
body lotion from cowshed i love their stuff i have loved their stuff for so long and when ryan and i went to soho farmhouse we both really loved their shower gels and stuff so i decided to get some more of those because we're just always in need of shower gel we go through it so quickly and then i also picked up the cowshed calming bath salts i've been really getting back into having baths i literally have like maybe one bath a year and during this time i've just felt a little bit more stressed and my sleep has been awful so i thought i would give these a go and i'm so excited to try those out in my bath i might need to have one tonight maybe after i do my exercise routine this evening and then i also picked up some hair and body oil because i was in need um, i'm going through my olaplex hair oil like you have no idea and my skin is just so dry i'm guessing from being at home all the time and like when it has been cold we've had the heating on and stuff so i feel like it's just taking its toll on my skin and probably stress as well so i just thought do you know what i need body oil so desperately right now i also picked up some beauty bits because i saw mac and asos had done a collab and that just really excited me so i'm going to show you this because this looks like the cutest color look at that packaging it's like a matte metallic pink oh my god it's like packaging of dreams how cute is that it's just like the perfect summer like rosy pink it's a little bit ready on camera but yeah it looks like a really lovely rose color love it so cute and then they also do the prep and prime in the same packaging how cute is this i love it oh so nice so yeah really great one for my dry lips so very excited to use those and then i also picked up some face rollers because i've been really into face rolling lately these are by a brand called Psychic Sisters and I am so excited to have these back in my life because I used to have a rose quartz roller and a jade roller and I actually ended up dropping both in the same week. Like, how does that even happen? So I decided to pick these up. I really like these ones because these are double-ended. So you have a little one for like under your eye and then you have a larger one for obviously the larger areas of your face. Yeah, I'm very excited to have these back in my life. I've actually been rolling my face a lot recently. I've been using my Nurse Jamie roller whilst I haven't had these two. These feel more gentle because they don't have the little bumpy bits that the Nurse Jamie one has. But I've just found that this makes such a difference to kind of de-puffing my face and just to how my skin looks in general but especially around my jaw i love using stuff like this and i love my nurse jamie one for depuffing my eyes as well that one is especially good and i'll show you why i think in my beauty routine video i'm gonna have to start that this week because i think that's gonna be a long video but yeah i decided to pick those up super super happy to have those in my life and then i've got a bondi sands back applicator because my other one is just disgusting like it shouldn't be allowed to be in the world anymore it's basically gone green so yeah i've got a bondi sands back applicator and one of the reasons why their asos beauty section is so great is obviously because it does such a good selection of beauty products but they also do tan and bondi sands on there and it's my favorite tan so yeah really happy to have that i've got a lot of bondi sands in the bathroom so um i didn't need to order any more of those but i will link to them in the info box to the ones that i'm going to be using and to the ones that are on asos um pretty much the entire range is on asos so if you've seen it in my videos and you were wondering where to get this brand asos is a really great place for it especially if you pay for the next day delivery throughout the year because throughout the year you can just pick up tan whenever you need and it arrives super quickly so the asos beauty section is just a winner for me because it allows me to get hold of my tan so quickly so great love a little it wrap for my lunch we have spinach falafel peppers and then a little bit of vegan cheese and then a wrap which i'm questioning is in date but we're just gonna roll with it also changed into my workout stuff i'm gonna do an indoor workout today i think rather than on my balcony because it's just so cold outside today but this is just very old workout gear so i've got a h&m top and then h&m leggings as well and if you want to know about my workout routine at the moment i will link a video in the info box which is all about my exercise routine at the moment the kind of stuff i wear is also included like i show you a few outfit of the days and then i also talk about my diet and how i'm kind of approaching that at the moment hello everybody just checking in it's about six o'clock god i'm so blind really needed to get my eyes tested before we got put in lockdown never happened so i'm just going to be squinting for the rest of lockdown i could put my old glasses on i'm not going to they basically make zero difference anyway i'm very very tired i've just been sitting here doing some emails in my little corner of my sofa which is my favorite spot i'm so so tired at the moment like i really struggled throughout the day i'm still trying to like keep up with my workouts and exercises as much as possible and i don't know why i'm just really struggling more than i ever have before it must be my sleep quality because i'm really not sleeping very well and my, my diet is i'd say better i don't think it's diet and i think a lot of the stuff is because i've actually been eating more so unless it's the eating more is making me tired maybe it's that anyway my sleep quality 
terrible absolutely terrible i've been having the weirdest weirdest nightmares so i'm gonna put it down to that which is why i'm struggling what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and take my makeup off and i should have done that earlier i didn't know if i was gonna like need to work more or carry on vlogging or do anything today so i left it on which is not ideal i'm gonna like slap myself for that bad suits anyway i'm gonna finally take my makeup off uh it's lasted quite well considering quite glowy today i'm a little bit hormonal at the moment so we have a couple of breakouts got a new one there which is going new one somewhere around here and then another one up here overall skin's still been looking really really good so I'm very happy with that pray that my makeup being on all day has not adversely affected it and i'm gonna have a bath and use some of my new products yeah maybe make some food i just don't feel hungry at the moment it's really weird i don't know if it's stress i don't know what it is but yeah really really struggling to have like a, an appetite i just feel full all the time but yeah have a bath have some food maybe play some sims i made the little mermaid on the sims the other day because i have an expansion pack where people can be mermaids it's just like my dream come true so yeah that is pretty much gonna be it for me this evening i think i've also just been catching up on nadia's video on her chemical peel that she had for her skin and it just looks incredible she's one of my favorite youtubers so i will link her in the info box would highly recommend love her videos if you love my videos you would just love hers and i've just been in my snuggly little asos dress all afternoon it's literally the comfiest thing i think i've ever worn in my life but yeah i think that's gonna be it for me today i really hope you guys have enjoyed this little wee asos haul i hope things are still in stock after i put them on stories because i'm gonna have to put these on stories and on instagram and on here so if you're late to the party i'm so sorry if things are out of stock but yeah i hope you all enjoyed seeing the things i picked up i will share the dresses that i've ordered i think they're arriving friday i think lauren messaged me earlier and she was like you've got one scheduled for friday she's the dream maybe next week i'll show you some of the dresses i got that i'm potentially going to wear whilst the weather is warmer and also just for like special indoors occasions because we have some of those so yeah i'll show you those coming up and i'll also be filming my beauty routine this week which uh, is going to be wild because i really need to fake tan i can't wait to properly full body fake tan tomorrow and i've been waiting to do the beauty routine tutorial so i could do all of this so yeah i'm very excited for that excited to sort myself out because i've got like some rogue eyebrow hairs i do my eyebrows myself anyway so i don't know why i've let it get this out of hand but i just kind of wanted to do it for the video but yeah that's gonna be it for me today i hope you guys have enjoyed this and i'll see you again very very soon goodbye longest outro in the world six minute outro wow bye <laughs>